Hey, welcome back to a brand new episode of 101 Second Reviews. Today, I'm going to be talking about this. The Dirt, which is a brand new Netflix movie. And if you ever thought to yourself, Whoa, I wonder where Net Motley Crue came from. And I wonder what they did when they were Motley Crue. I wonder what Motley Crue was all about. Well, this film is very much for you. Okay, right. Back in a sec. Okay, right. So, The Dirt. Now, this is obviously adapted from Motley Crue's own book, which was co-written by all the founders of the band, the members of the band. And I will say this in its defence, the fact that they've kept in what happened with Vince Neil with the car and the drug addiction and especially the, um, especially with Nikki Six, the near death experiences, it does give the film um, a little bit more edge than maybe something that would be, you know, kind of like a bog standard bio to a certain extent. But the problem you have with the whole thing is, or I will say this, the cast itself really well cast everybody is like throws himself into it there's clearly a lot of love a lot of passion a lot of excitement that's gone into the project um but beyond that the problem you have with this is twofold in a way one is they can't go the bohemian rhapsody role and that is they can't have the music being the center point of the film because if you ask people to name you know two or three motley Crue songs they won't be able to so you can't have that the music is very much a kind of like afterthought in the film beyond the antics of the band and that doesn't help to a certain extent so it kind of shows the if you like the lack of kind of like musical heritage there is but also the problem you have is the idea of just seeing a rock band behaving badly no matter how bad that is it's still just an enormous cliche you think back to Spinal Tap and you think back to everything else you hear and see about rock bands, especially from that era. And in that sense, the entire part of it, they're just going more and more and more outrageous. It borders on comedy and it also borders on absolute boredom to a certain extent. It's okay. Okay, right. Thanks for watching. I'll be back again soon.